all see me because the sun did something really funny and I don't, I cannot be bothered. Okay. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little bit under the weather, it's because I have some kind of cold. I came back from LA this week and I, as soon as I landed back in San Jose, I just got hit really heavy with whatever the fuck this is. I feel amazing, don't get me wrong, but I feel bad at the same time. So I have a stuffy nose, I have a headache, my throat was going in and out. Uh, my doctor says it's allergies. I went to my doctor this, um, when did I see him? I went there on Wednesday, and so he's like, it's probably just your allergies, because if you feel fine and you have all these symptoms, then you should be fine. Because I don't feel like I'm under the weather, so to speak. So I wanted to unbox one of my birthday gifts with you today. I've been actually saving it. I got this like weeks ago. Um, if you guys know, you guys know I have nerves of steel. I'm not somebody who gets something and I need to open it right away. I want to savor the moment i want to stretch it out for as long as possible so i can wait even though i know what's in there you guys know this i've if you're new to my channel then you won't know but if you're not new you know that i buy myself a birthday a christmas present i buy myself gifts i wrap them and i wait for appropriate times to open them so this is actually a bag that i've been seeing on instagram for quite some time and i've been lusting after it i don't really see that many videos on youtube showing it as much it is the Wow, hold on. One second, what is the name of this bag? I don't remember, but as soon as I open it, we'll figure it out. So this bag is a vegan leather bag, but great quality. I got it for my birthday present from my older sister. I sent her the link, told her that's what I wanted, and she bought it. And with keeping with that, I wanted to show you a few bits and bobs I got for my birthday. My birthday was this week. This is the first thing, because it's like literally right here. I got this throw from my friend in Germany. It is from Bubble Bar. I didn't know that Bubble Bar does stuff like this. I thought they only did jewelry. I love it because it kind of reminds me of the Hermes blanket, but the Hermes throw, but it has my initial on it. So it has the letter L on it. And I'm a huge, like, I'm a massive, like, you don't understand. Like, I love to see, it's like, see that? Isn't that cute? It's got the letter L and the quality feels amazing. It's like a nice little knit, has a decent little stretch. I absolutely love this. It goes with my aesthetic and my color scheme. Another friend of mine gave me a jacket from Madewell that was this color as well. If you know me, you know that I love neutrals. I'm not really a color gal, only every now and again, but I'm not really a color gal. The next item I got from my coworker, so, and it's only because she gave this to me yesterday why it's still here, but she gave me the cutest card. Oh my god, it has like a little, isn't that cute? So stinking cute. I love that my birthday is at the end of the year because I feel, I think I put this on my Instagram if you're not following me. I put on my Instagram that, you know, being born in December, you literally go through the seasons just like the year does. So when the year has ended for you, it has also ended for the earth, the year, if that makes any sense, like mother nature. It's at the end, and so when the new year comes in January and the world is starting fresh, you're also starting fresh. So I feel like just being born in December is just so amazing because I'm literally going through those different phases just like the year. When we're six months into the year, I'm six months since my birthday. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's kind of weird that I think like that, but I love it. Um, oh... So happy birthday, Lauren. You're a beautiful, fearless, strong, smart, and fun. I love what you constantly project to the world. Everyone around you, keep shining your unique and bright light. Oh, I love it. And it's such a cute little card. And you guys know I'm a card girl. So the box is so cute. I'll be re recycling the box. So cute. I hope it's a candle. Oh my god, it is! I think it's a candle! I knew it! Isn't it cute? It is a happy birthday to you. It's like one of those special... I think it's one of those special... Is it food? No, it's a candle, right? Okay, good. It's like one of those special birthday candles. I think I've been seeing these. What's so funny is her birthday was like a week before mine and I was actually gonna get her that. So, thank you, Melissa. We love it. The only time I will accept pink. All right, so let me unbox this, because this is why you all are here. You didn't come over here for my birthday, you came over here for this. So, 
I wrapped it in this beautiful white Christmas paper because it's in tune with my Christmas tree. I cannot believe that I got this in the mail, wrapped it as tight as I did, and didn't even, look at that. I was really careful when I do this because one time I did this and ripped the item that was in the bag. It comes in a box like this. Super cute. There's actually two sizes to this bag. I found that out after. And I don't know which one I bought. So this is in here. I feel like I might have gotten the smaller one. And you guys know I'm a size queen. The bigger the better for me when it comes on to certain things. Alright. So I was going to say leather, but it's not leather. I love that it's a pebble and it's not a shiny leather. I don't know what you can see, but it's like a pebble. It's like a pebble grain. It's not shiny. I do not like shiny leathers. Oh, look at her. She is, ooh, baby, she is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh my God. What? This is the most beautiful bag I have seen in a long time from a contemporary brand. This is gorgeous, okay. This is where it drops on me. Perfect. <clears throat> I'll show you guys in a little bit, but um, let's just see what fits in here. Let me sit far back a little bit. Let's see what fits in here. So it does have three compartments, right? So it has the middle, and then it has this area. And then it has this area. Now I have seen bags in TJ Maxx that's trying to mimic this design. Um, I literally just sent it to my sister not too long ago. I was like, look at Target, not TJ Maxx, Target. I'm trying to copy this. Love, oh my God. The construction of this bag is like nothing I've ever seen before. From, cause I feel like they're not that old. I don't know that much about this company. Now it's time for the reveal. This is the biggest MacBook that Apple sells. I think it's a 16 inch. So now we're gonna see. I'm sorry, what? No honey, she fits. And if I wanted to have a case on here, a sleeve, it would fit. There, It fits and there's lots of space and I can get my agenda in here, which was the whole point of this bag. Get out of here! And you can zip up the middle compartment, which is why I freaking wanted it. You can zip up this compartment and, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> These little flaps are getting off my nerves, child. But you can zip it up. Hold on, it's not zipping right now. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll get back to that. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's because it's new. Let me try zipping it without it. Okay, so maybe I just need to bend it a little bit. It's a little stiff right now. As you can see, this keeps bouncing back. But the important thing is that this fits in here. I'm gonna show you guys fully how I would pack this bag to go to work. Let me see if it's heavy. Oh my God, I love it. I, I honestly, I am in love. I'm obsessed and like, I have these other areas that I can pack stuff and there's so many internal pockets. All right, let's get into the bag. Let's get into this. Okay. Oh, it's sticking cute. Oh my God, I love it. Love it. Okay, so that was my Freya bag on boxing. Um, I don't remember which style it was. So I basically took all the stuff that was in my Lululemon backpack out and fit it all in here. Give and take a few things that I really shouldn't have been carrying around like a weird ass ring light, but everything fit my glasses, my laptop, my chargers. I bring around an external hard drive. I carry an EpiPen. I have like several chargers in my bag for my laptop, for my camera. I have a rosary in my car and in all of my bags at all times. Lotion, just like the works. Everything fit in this bag. Now, be it it was a little bit heavy, 
But that is because my laptop itself is pretty heavy. If you carry a 16 inch laptop, MacBook or use one, you will know that it is not a light piece to carry around. Also, I wanna apologize for the camera angle. I did not realize that my camera was so low. It could have been a little bit higher, but you guys get the point. But that was my Freya New York bag unboxing and how I would pack it up and get ready for work. I will update you guys on how well this bag wears, how it ages over time, and whether I would still recommend it. But I think it's a great price. You're getting good quality. Um, and it's, you know, I think it's a woman owned company. So, like, why not? Love it. I have no qualms. It feels amazing. The construction is great. The quality is great. I'm not going to lie. I feel like almost like, let me see. Holy shit, the laptop goes in the back pocket too. Guys, get out of here. My laptop fits in the back pocket. So for all those 16 inch laptop owners, like people who edit and do like creative work, your 16 inch laptop fits in all the pockets of this bag. And it sits up nice and straight, I love that. I'm not really like a, what do you call that now? I don't really like, Fuck. I don't know if it's tote bags that I'm trying to say where it's just one big sack and you just toss your shit in it I don't really like that. I like divisions and like separations. So I You know what? I love this bag. This bag is my new favorite bag ever and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put a link for it down below What are you guys loving and thank you guys so much for all of my birthday greetings on Instagram on Twitter all over. I truly appreciate every single one of you. This year I kept it a little bit more low-key than I normally would and I have no regrets, no qualms. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.